Hello, David Earl here, or you can call me SF Logic Ninja, and I'm so excited because Logic came out with 10.1, and it's an amazing upgrade, really incredible, and I wanted to just explore some stuff with you. So first things first, I'm going to get my template together and choose, hey, look at my frame rates. I get 50 through 60. That's pretty amazing, but I'm going to choose 23.976 for my frame rate because that's what I usually do. I'll hit choose. And the first thing I wanted to talk about was drummer. So I'm going to create a new track, new drummer track. And when you do that, normally Kyle pops up. So where are you, Kyle? There you are. Now, what's really neat is that I can go ahead and create another track now and have a second drummer. Couldn't do that before. So that's pretty rad. The next thing is, if I go to my drummers here, not only do I have rock, alternative, songwriter, and R&B, I also have electronic and hip hop. There's 10 new drummers. So there's electronic and hip hop drummers. And then if we get into the alternative world, we have a couple of drummers in the alternative world that are doing drum machine stuff. So you see there's a nice little drum machine here. That's pretty cool. Now when you pull these drummers up, the ones that are electronic musicians, on the right hand side, you'll see that things have changed slightly. You know, we have the same presets and the hockey puck, but on the right, we choose between a kick and a snare and a clap and our, you know, we don't have the same drum set layout that we get with Drum Kit Designer. If I select details, yeah, this is very different. So that's pretty cool. Now, we also get something called Drum Machine Designer. And I'll take you through that real quick. 